A few days ago, I uh, cloned my hard disk drive to a uh, Samsung 500 gigabyte uh, solid state drive. Uh, in this video, I'm going to go over how I did this. So let me uh, show you what you'll need. I bought uh, this uh, Samsung 850 Evo. 500 gigabyte SSD from Amazon and then I needed this adapter right here 3.0 to 2.5 SATA okay so that'll connect that'll connect to the Samsung SSD and then basically you just plug it into your uh, computer Initialize it if it doesn't, uh, if the computer doesn't recognize it, and you can start cloning. Now, most uh, SSDs will come with a uh, DVD or a CD with software that allows you to migrate to a SSD. Now, in my case, I had bought uh, some software which I really like called the Cronus uh, True Image 2018 has all sorts of tools and uh, backup uh, utilities and I use it to back up all my files create images of my computer and if I have to do it uh, have some issues I go ahead and uh, restore with those images now Windows does have those options, uh, but keep in mind those are free, so sometimes they, they work, but I might not work as well as you might, uh, even though I have used it, uh, I have used those tools quite a bit uh, in the past. Uh, I recently bought this, and I'm really pleased with it. So in the tools section is which, where I'm at right now, uh, all you're going to do, like I said, is uh, connect your uh, SSD to your computer. Hopefully through a 3.0 port if you have one. And then hit the clone disk. And then gives you two options. I recommend the uh, automatic. Click next. And then here you have to select the source disk. Okay. Now in my case it's already done. So it, these used to be reversed. Because the one with the. 931.5 uh, gigabytes was my internal disk and the Samsung was the source disk okay but I've already done the cloning but this is what I did so let's just assume I haven't done it yet you would click on the source disk that's the one that's on inside your computer so click on that and then click next Okay, then it wants you to select the uh, target disk. Okay, uh, originally that was my, my uh, SSD. Okay, but in this case, like I said, I've already done the cloning, so I would, click, uh, I would select the second one here and then click on next. And then it gives you the warning the destination hard disk drive you have chosen to contain some partitions that could contain useful data. Click OK to confirm deletion of all the partitions and then it's a destination hard drive. So you click OK and then proceed and it continues with the process. Okay. And in my case, it took about, uh, about 45 minutes. I had about 100 total gigabytes of uh, data, including the uh, Windows operating system and so forth that uh, was uh, copy over was uh, around 140 gigabytes and it took about uh, 45 45 minutes okay so uh, let me cancel this out and again the the, the length of uh, time uh, is going to depend on the speed of your computer the the memory that you have and so forth uh, and one of the reasons I like this software is it it's uh, Seems to be quite uh, quite a bit faster than uh, what you get from uh, say Windows 10. 
Now I do want to show you the results of my cloning and migration here. So here are my two drives. So in this case, uh, this C drive right now is the SSD drive, okay? The D drive used to be the original, okay? So I had already, tra I've already transferred the, uh, the data. And the, the, the nice thing about it, once, once you do the cloning, all you have to do is uh, turn your computer off and then install, remove the uh, hard disk that you have on there and uh, install the SSD and then turn on the computer and if everything went okay, your computer will recognize the, uh, the new drive with the operating system so it should boot regularly. Now it should boot faster, and I've noticed the, uh, the, the uh, response, better response with the uh, SSD. Okay, uh, from start to desktop, it's uh, probably less than 30 seconds. So once I start it, I can start working on something in less than 30 seconds. Before it was closer to uh, to two minutes before everything got got loaded and so forth. So it is it is much faster with the uh, the SSD drive. Okay, I'm going to open, let me open this one first. Okay, so this is, this is the one that I have right now. This is my SSD. So I'm going to open the, uh, the one I have connected, which used to be my regular hard drive, internal hard drive. Open this in the window. Okay, so you can see they're identical. Okay, so this is now this one here on the left is the the SSD for I actually clone my hard drive too, and then installed it and so forth. Okay. One thing you don't want to do is you don't want to start your computer with uh, this hooked on because then it's going to give, give it some issues because you have two operating systems how that can uh, the computer will know what or to boot to. So it could cause some issues. Okay, but at the but the process of, you know, was fairly easy, and I, I didn't really need a new hard disk, but this computer is about three years old, so I might have, what, what I'm going to do uh, eventually here is to take the uh, old hard drive and convert it into a USB flash drive and use it for, for storage. So that'll, that'll be coming up in, in uh, subsequent videos. So uh, thank you for watching. And uh, that'll be the uh, conclusion of this video. Thanks for watching.